Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a trailer that is honestly one of my favorites on the lot, and it's just the way that the trailer is set up. It is a 2019 Cimarron Lone Star. It's a 28 foot long trailer. It's eight foot wide, six four tall, but it's our dirty tack trailer is what we call it. It is a great trailer for families, farms, ranches that are showing, but also are gonna use this trailer on their operation. Maybe it's not the big, the fanciest, the shiniest, but it's got a lot of parts that work extremely, extremely well for both scenarios. So let's kind of go through this. I'll show you how it works. We'll show you kind of about the concept of the dirty tack, but let's take a look at this trailer. One of the first things we did when we upgraded this trailer is we put that single leg electric over hydraulic jack, which is fantastic. No more hand cranking. It's basically push of a button, up, down it goes. It is so, so nice. Again, when we, when we kind of go back to talking about who's using this trailer, there are times where, okay, my, maybe mom and dad are hooking up the trailer and we got little kids out there helping. Mom and dad can be backing the truck up and as they're backing the truck up, when they get underneath the, the coupler, the kid can just reach up in here and up and down with the trailer. It's not that hand cranking. It's really, really responsive. It also does have a manual override if you need to, so you can hand pump this. We put the battery box on this trailer that is gonna house the battery for that electric hydraulic jack. And then up in that left-hand corner is that battery disconnect. We put that on all of our trailers that have that jack on there. So if you do get home, get to the show, you can reach up there and turn that off and not drain that battery in case somebody accidentally left a light on and then you have a dead battery when you go to hook this trailer up. We did the black metallic sheeting on this trailer. When you get it in sunlight, the angle I'm standing at with the sun, you can see a lot of the, the flakes of that metallic coming out. I really like that color. And then we also put that wraparound nose on it, which just kind of gives it a nice sleek finished look to this trailer. So now as we get back here, this is where I'm gonna start talking about that dirty tack concept. So in our minds, what we did was, is we put this side ramp on this trailer so you can load and unload cattle, but also your equipment. Years past, we used to put this ramp basically kind of where this door is. And our thought was, is hey, let's push the ramp back a little bit. Let's move our escape door from driver's side over to passenger side. So if you were to load tack up the side ramp and put your tack right up here against the gooseneck drop wall if you're showing or needing to grab something out of here as you're traveling you can access it from the same side so then I'll go in here and I'll show you a little bit more about this concept what we have is we have a traveling gate so we put this gate at the front of the trailer, but what our thought was is, hey, we can use this gate as almost a tack wall. That's where it gets its name, dirty tack, because this isn't a sealed wall on more of our standard, traditional front tack room trailers. There are things you can do to this trailer if you really want to use this concept constantly. You know, we could fill in these air gaps for you. We can fill in up top with some rubber, and then we can put some rubber mats down on the floor and also the side. So it can seal it in a little bit more. But I'll show you how this traveling gate works and then we'll dive back into that, that dirty tack concept. Cimarron has made these traveling gates so easy to function. They lock around the side posts and then as you get to door frames and then also framing posts around our wheel wells will actually put a notch in there so that'll actually secure the gate around there.
And then the gate actually travels off of a rail off of the ceiling rather than most traditional traveling gates that actually have a rail that goes along the side of the trailer. Now, those can sometimes fill up with manure. I mean, they're down lower, they're down in the elements. So it is a little bit tougher to move those gates. You have to be exactly kind of square on those to move them um, to where on Cimarron's gate, since it comes off the roof, basically, if you're just kind of in the middle, keeping it balanced, that gate just glides. It is very, very easy to use. If you're in the middle of that, um, you know, even, even your small kids can move that gate very, very easily. We build it up a little bit off the floor because we understand that you're gonna bed maybe a little bit deeper in these trailers. So you have that flexibility. They're not right down to the ground. But then once you get it in place, you turn those over and it goes around the post and locks in. And then they also have another safety so those guys don't come undone. But again, very, very easy to use. And then we went ahead and put the slider with no threshold. So there's nothing there for the cattle, cattle or any other animals or yourself has to step over when you're going between the different stalls. But these traveling gates allow you to manipulate stall sizes all you want. Maybe you're running a couple different heifers and maybe at a show you're taking a bull. Well, I can isolate that bull down to one section by himself, keep those heifers, rather than wasting you know, an eight or 10 foot uh, stall area on that one bull. Well, hey, I can shrink that down, give, maybe give those heifers a little bit more room. Maybe you've got a cow-calf pair. You can keep that pair by themselves away from the rest of them. And then as, as you get back to more of the farm and ranch use, maybe you're hauling pairs to summer pasture, you can separate the calves away, put them in a smaller section, roll that gate, lock it into place, and then put the cows behind it to match up those pairs. So it's a really, really good concept. And like I said, this has a lot of crossover between a show and then at the farm and ranch. So let's jump back into that dirty tack concept. So like I did was I moved that gate back. Now I can bring my upright post or uh, my, my upright show box, my fan carts, blower carts, anything like that right up this ramp. We're utilizing that ramp so it's nice and easy to load. You bring them in, you turn up here, you secure everything, put it in place, and then I can roll that gate back up. And again, put it between the ramp and then this, is, this uh, side escape door. So again, I can access things. Um, whether you're traveling or at a show and showing off of the trailer. So that again is where we came up with the concept of dirty tack. Now on this trailer, I'll show you one thing that we did is up here in the gooseneck is we actually sealed it off and we put a door there. We could put your traditional calf style fold down gate. We opted for this, just try something a little bit different, but that will keep everything up there in the nose completely sealed off and clean. So maybe you can throw some feet up there. You can throw some other equipment. You can throw luggage. You can lock it. But again, it just keeps it nice and, nice and clean and sealed off. On this trailer, you have interior tie rails, high and low. We put roof vents two-way roof vents, and we started them more towards the front of the trailer and then worked back. But we have multiple rows of two going to the back of the trailer. We ran that traveling track back just ahead of the wheel well on this trailer. And one of the reasons why is then we don't have to notch this gate once we get to the wheel well. It comes right to here and stops. But those traveling gates can be, if we're building a trailer or some of the other trailers inventory, we run this clear to the back four foot off. So then you have the ability to set your gates all you want. Um, where the traveling track is, those posts are every foot apart, which also gives a lot of strength to this trailer as well. But then it gives you that ability to set that gate every foot where you want it. And then back where you're at, 
in this rear stall area is we have a fixed gate. So this is fixed, this one doesn't move. So it swings open and locks into place. And it also has a slider in it. But now with that traveling gate and this gate, you can create three different stalls. And then that front one, you'll be able to manipulate the number one and two, depending on size on where you set that gate. But from this gate, to the back of this trailer is nine foot three, which sounds like an odd number, but if you have an eight foot grooming chute with handles and wheels, that will fit directly behind this gate. So again, a lot of people are running seven, seven and a half, maybe some eights with some bigger cattle. You can go in and set it directly behind here. I like to tell customers, go ahead and set it more towards the right hand side of this trailer because then you can utilize this um, slider gate and have those chutes away so if you do need to unload or load cattle you can actually walk them through the the slider gate and not have to worry about moving that equipment the other thing is is behind the axles is the worst part of the ride on a trailer so if we can keep equipment like the chutes and maybe some feed towards the back that's good um, that way we keep cattle on the axles or forward Here at the back, you just have a standard swing gate with a slider in there. We went ahead and put some load lights on the back here. And there's plenty of lights on the inside that you could see as well. A lot of times we're getting home, unloading it at night, or we get to a show and you're, you're unloading at night. It's a, it's a good way to just keep everything lit up. There's plenty of lighting on this trailer. It's LED lights, so not a major power draw, but does put off a lot of lighting. When we get over here to driver's side, I'll just point out a couple things. High and low exterior tie rails. So if you're tying out from the trailer, again, showing off of it, those are also on the passenger side. So you have them on both sides of this trailer. This trailer comes equipped with 17.5 aluminum wheels, 16 ply tires. Those are 8,000 pound axles. So you have good running gear underneath this trailer. We went ahead and put another load light on the exterior. There is one on the other side as well. It's gonna be kind of positioned more up by that ramp because we figure you're gonna be loading off loading there. This one here, we just kind of wanted to center it in the trailer. And then the last thing is the plexiglass. So this trailer, we opted to put the plexiglass in there. It's really easy to, to remove. Cimarron actually cuts a little area in here. That's where you put the plexiglass in and remove it from the trailer. There is a, a tray up in the neck for you to store this. So it's not just throwing pieces up there in the nose and potentially something falling on and breaking. I tell my customers, get you a, a good Sharpie and maybe some masking tape, painter's tape, because it's not a very, very sticky residue on there. Take out your driver's side lower, tape them together, write it on their driver's side lower, do the same for the top, same for the other side. So that way, if you do need to go throw that plexiglass back in this trailer, you can do it really, really quickly. You know where the pieces go. You're not trying to put pieces in take pieces out because you got them wrong. So it just keeps everything nice and organized. But again, this is one of my favorite setups. We have this also in a 24 footer. We can build this in, in multiple sizes. We can do multiple tra traveling gates. We can do about anything you want, but this is a 19. So give us a call. We'll be happy to visit you with, with, with you about this trailer or any other trailers we have in inventory. And just for reference for you on this trailer, if you're interested in it, is stock number 5N181298. Again, it is a 2019 Cimarron Lone Star Dirty Tack is what we call it. We appreciate you tuning in. Again, TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have any questions for myself or want to visit with uh, the rest of the sales team on any trailers, give us a call. That number is 303-684 three four zero zero again my name is cj altenberg we appreciate you tuning in thank you and have a good day